We are here with Gukesh. Uh, you just met the draw against Jan Nepomnesi. Very important game for you today. Um, how did, did you feel pressure today during the round? Um, yeah, for, from the from the start there has always been some pressure, and it, today was no no different. Uh, surely some some nerves, but uh, nothing more than the usual. So. Yeah, you choose to play this night G to a seven line. Uh, Jan said it's uh, getting popular, but still he was kind of surprised. Um, let's say, how did your preparation go? Well, yeah, this night G seven is uh, it's an interesting line. I mean, it's been known for quite some time, but uh, but yeah, I thought it would uh, uh, it would be nice to you know uh, surprise him in the opening, and uh, yeah, he was surprised and. He played this uh, D4, which is okay, not uh, one of the most critical lines. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm sure I checked this Queen E3, but I couldn't remember anything on the board, so I was just playing, uh, playing on my own. Mm -hmm. And I thought this Bishop E7, this might not be the most accurate, but I started calculating, and I couldn't see how how White could uh, make use of it. And basically. What I calculated happened in, happened in the game, so b5, knight a5, and yeah, maybe he has like one more to create something, but uh, I couldn't see how. I mean, if I get taken bishop b7, it's uh, it's just equal. So he played queen g3, bishop d6. I mean, knight b3. Yeah, a b3 was also possible, but I thought. Mm -hmm. But I thought okay, bishop d6 is quite a nice move. I mean, queen g4, now I can, if he goes queen g4, I can take and go bishop e5, and I'm already taking over, I think. But, uh, yeah, he went bishop f4 the safest way, and, I mean, yeah, just a normal position, and at some point we just traded everything. Yeah, he said that he probably missed some chances to press more by playing, like, maybe before, like, bishop d2, uh, in order to stop your idea with b5, and... Uh, I will show you somewhere he here, maybe. Maybe Bishop d2, somewhere here. Maybe just he thought maybe it would be trickier, but still, let's yeah, say you don't I have castle. that many. Yes. He would just castle, right? I mean, so probably he still needs a couple of time passes yes, to, mm -hmm. to get rid of these oh, ideas. Maybe he can start with Bishop b3. Yes, and maybe here, yes. Bishop ah, b3. So I don't get this tempo, eh? Yeah. Oh, this might have been mm -hmm. possible. But it's hard to say now, let's say, after, uh, I mean, he saw it after the game. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the tournament situation right now? I mean, all last couple of rounds, like, how, how did you feel? And what do, what do you think about the whole, what's happening in the, in the playing venue? Uh, yeah, I feel pretty good. I feel I'm in good shape and I'm in good spirits. So, yeah. Uh, about the tournament situation, um, I mean, the games are still going on, and I guess only Prague can catch catch us if yes. he wins. So, mm -hmm. yeah, let's see how that goes. But anyways, um, I think uh, before the last four rounds, I I put myself in a pretty good position. So, yeah, it depends on uh, how I how I play in the next few games, and hopefully it will be. It'll be good. Yeah, yeah this of course, it's very critical and important, the last rounds. Um, Jan just told me that he cut all the connection with social media. He doesn't follow anything. What about you? Are you following? Are you posting something? Uh, no, in general, I don't use much. And during the tournament, not at all. So, yeah, I haven't really opened anything from the start of the event. <laughs> so. so, But, uh, yeah, my team is taking care of the other things. So. I guess it's good. Yeah. So you try to focus on the tournament and only on the tournament without distractions. Yeah. Uh, as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Thank you so much, Gukesh. All the best of luck for you in the next rounds. Thank you.